All right, here we go. I got two generators. I got a Harbor Freight Predator and I have a Champion. The reason I have the Champion is I bought the Harbor Freight in January. I meticulously went through the break-in procedure and I really was impressed with that thing. Except the day before my first camping trip in July 7th, 5th, 6th, 7th weekend, I went to start it up the day before and it died. Ran for 20 seconds and then died. I called tech support and said, my thing died, what can be wrong? So they steered me in the direction of the oil level sensor. They said to check it, you unplug the yellow wire, which is supposedly inside the removable cover where you change the oil, that side. There's no yellow wire there, except the stra grounding strap, yellow and green connecting wire, which they told, oh, that's it. Well, that ain't it. Turns out to be a wire on the opposite side, which you cannot remove that cover without destroying it because it's screwed in from the inside. Well, I destroyed it, getting it apart, and the wire is not yellow, it's actually black. So I disconnected it, nothing. I called Harbor Freight Tech Support again and said, now, how, wh all right, what's going on? And he interrogated me a little bit and said, oh, it ran for 20 seconds, something must have went bad, it was the board. So even though you do not, you did not buy the extended warranty, I will warranty it anyhow. They gave me a FedEx label to ship it back at no cost to me. They sent me another one at no cost to me. That's why I have two generators because I ran out and bought the Champion the Friday before my first camping trip in a site that had no electricity. So now I got two of them, which is probably a good thing in retrospect now because if I go out west with the grandchildren or something, redundancy is going to be important because also the week before my very first camping trip in my RV, Apex Nano 18 foot bunkhouse, my solar charger died. I bought an eco-worthy MPPT solar charger that worked very nice. I, I was happy with it, but then it died. It just belly up, died. I contacted the company, no response. To heck with this, I bought a Victron 20 amp MPPT controller and that thing is totally impressive, awesome. It is the Bluetooth model. You walk up there with your cell phone, you download all the data that this thing's been collecting and that thing is totally awesome and I expect it to work good. But before I go on any trip out west with a grandson, grandkids, I'm gonna buy another solar controller in case it does go belly up, I want redundancy. So I'm gonna end up with a redundant power source for the generator and a redundant power source for my solar controller. At any rate, this video is about the sound level of these two compared to each other. I'm standing 50 feet away right now. They're both running in eco mode idle. I have my handy dandy cell phone sound meter. I don't know if it's all that accurate. I don't really care probably. But right now, both of them running. I'm collecting 59, 70, 70, whatever. I hope you can see that focus, probably not. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, it's too dark in here in the sun. All right, what am I getting? I don't know, that, that's really not important anyway. I'm gonna walk up there and shut one of these off now. I'm 50 feet away now. I think the Predator is much quieter than the Champion. I'm going to shut the Predator off. Alright, that's no longer running. The Champion only is running. I'm going to go to 25 feet. I'm in my little echo chamber area by my garage, so it probably would increase the sound level. Besides that, the exhaust is facing right at me. So right now my sound level is 
Again, the sun probably means you can't see this. I don't know, take my word for it. 64. On a phone, that's probably not all that accurate. All right, back to 50. All right, here's 50 feet. Sound level. I don't know. Can't get it to. It's too bright out, whatever. It says 64 here as well. Conversation level. Let me talk into it. No, it didn't change. Maybe it's stuck at 64. Start it up again. I hate touch phones, they just drive me crazy. Alright, it says right here, it's beeping around now. It's going from 56 to 73. When I stop talking, it's about 60. Alright, back over here, 25 feet. I would say it's not horribly loud. I think it's louder than the Predator, which I'll shut the gener uh, champion off now and start the Predator back up. need the choke. All right, I I had that thing so warmed up doing my monthly warm-up that I did not need to put it in the start position or choke position to get it to run again. I just had to put it in run. That's why I wouldn't start immediately. Now, I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but that, gen that Predator is far quieter than that champion in the eco mode idle position. Like I said, when I first got my first one before it died, I was very impressed with that baby. It was super quiet. In fact, I'll put it right in my echo chamber garage area when I'm done here. This is going to be a long video, but... Alright, I'm not bouncing around. That means my stupid... There we go. 59 at 25 feet 60 54 59 60 right about 59 at 25 feet Sorry for that horrible video, but you probably don't care you just want the information 50 feet 46 52 They're around 50. That's pretty impressive, I think. All right, now I'm gonna wheel it in my little echo chamber area here. I'm doing my test run with some 500 watt bulbs. To vary the load. This is in my little echo chamber here. I should turn it around so it echoes real good. The thing is not very loud. The thing is super quiet. So I think what I'm gonna do, permanently mount this one to the back side of my, my camper, RV keep the uh, champion as a spare backup because this thing is so quiet even though it's mounted right on the back of the RV probably won't bother me inside the RV I don't know if you can see this but right inside my echo chamber in eco mode it's only 70 67 decibels which I think 
pretty darn quiet. All right, I'm going to shut this one off. I'm going to start my champion back up and put that in the echo chamber. of the sound level of these two generators and why I ended up with them but redundancy is probably a good thing if you're going on an extended out west trip like I'm going to do when I retire having two of them is probably a good thing I really like that predator hopefully this one won't have any defects and die on me after a few months the internet reviews are all really, really great, so I'm expecting this one will survive. The Champion, I have no complaints with it other than it's louder. I also like the Champion because I need no adapters. Post this on YouTube. Once again, sorry for the horrible quality, but I'm not trying to get no sponsor money or impress anybody. Just share my opinions and findings. <laughs>